So tell me about this this concept for this video and where it came from. Cold December is a song about lost love, and it is a tribute to families affected by the war. And what, what are the, the visuals within the video that are going to, to relay that message? The main concept of the video is it's a performance sequence of me performing this song, but then it's flashback to me and a boyfriend, and he enrolls in the army, and you see him go off to war, and actually we got approval to use some uh, like war footage, which will be really cool, I think. It's right. going to come together really nicely. Do you, do you have a personal connection to this way? Do you have a personal, uh, personal connection to to this war or any war previously? I definitely feel like we all are. You know, Canada is such a melting pot. My mom's from China, my dad is from Germany, and they both, you know, came here, and they both were very affected by the war, and I definitely don't think I would be standing here if it wasn't for, you know, things in the past. So I think in Canada we definitely are. Yeah. Do you have a, do you, besides the obviously the concept of the video, do you have a message for the troops in Afghanistan? You know what, I send my love, I know it must be really hard for a lot of the families and I'm really just trying to pay tribute and shed some light on the struggles that they are probably going through. Well, the, the concept of the video is very timely considering Sunday is Remembrance Day. It's Remembrance Day. Day. Do, you, do you, as a, a pop culture figure, and, and it's visible, uh, sort of relatable female in pop culture, do you feel sort of obligated to, to participate in this sort of social commentary or sort of events like this? I don't feel obligated. It's definitely, I think, a calling for me. I love to, uh, you know, donate my time. I think anyone in the public eye is some sort of a role model, whether they feel they are or not. So I'm actually in the works with a bunch of charities to do a bunch of really cool things. So I'm excited about that too. And just because we're going to use some of this for Remembrance yeah, Day. Yeah, for sure. Do you, what, what, do you, what do you take away from Remembrance Day? What does it mean to you? Remembrance Day, obviously, it's honoring most of the soldiers that fought in World War One. And as I said, I just, you know, my heart goes out to them. My heart goes out to the families. And I really definitely feel that without the wars in the past, I personally wouldn't be standing here. Do you do anything special on Remembrance Day? Do you go to any particular ceremony? or do you Well, I'm from Vancouver, and I'm here going to be in Toronto this Remembrance Day. So, no, I usually spend it with my family, for sure. Yeah. Is there... Uh is there anything you think, obviously this war in Afghanistan right now or something, do you think that the Remembrance Day is as important now as it is when we're not in a, in a war? I think definitely. I think Remembrance Day is huge and it's really, for me, honoring war in general. And so my heart goes out to the Canadian troops and Afghanistan. Yeah. It must be really tough for a lot of families that have loved ones over there. Yeah, we're thinking about them this weekend. Definitely thinking about them, thinking about you. Um, now onto the onto the music and the yes. video in general. What's what's the funnest part about making music videos for you? I love making music videos. It's like an opportunity to get dolled up and make a visual to a song. And I love Cold December. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. So I'm really pumped that you know we can put something together that I think is going to mean something too at the same time. How do you develop concepts with directors or, or writers or producers? You know what? All comes together differently. I I can't say any video of mine is has ever been the same. Like every process has been different. You know, sometimes, you know, I'll have a concept, sometimes the director will have a concept. So I just love performing, <laughs> putting it all together. And you've got, you've, this past year, you've got a taste. Uh, your music's been going around the world. Not yeah, just, you know, for sure. What's that, do what's that done for your perspective? You know what? I think traveling the world definitely gives a lot of perspective on how people live and, you know, Every country has their pros and cons, and you, you know, enjoy the pros when you're there. And every in, music-wise, you know, every market's definitely tailored a little different. Asia is definitely, I find, the most unique market that I've been able to experience. Why is that? I find just the style of music there. It, they love ballads. You know, like Canto Pop, it's like they really love their ballads and they love, you know, a little popier stuff. And then Europe, you know, I'd say they're a little more free. Sometimes, you know, a little more sexually free. But um, no, it's it's great. I love traveling. I'm actually off to Scandinavia yes. on Sunday. What do, you, what, what do you expect? I expect a whirlwind of craziness to what, ensue. What? Just lots of press, you know, TV shows and things. It's going to be crazy, but it's great. It's like, I think it's a city a day for seven days. It's, but that's kind of 
how it is. They're all like, they're much closer together than they are here. In it, totally, so totally, like, yeah, for sure. It, is this video here of cold December is it going to be one that's serviced internationally? Or is yeah, it definitely, definitely. It's it's that's what we're looking at, and so you know, with the message, it's a worldwide message of you know families affected because everyone in every country is affected, for sure. And can you give us any uh, any scoop on instant star stuff happening? Well, let's see. Tuesday was our last day for the fourth season, and uh, oh, I love Instant Star. The season has been such a blast. Lots of crazy stuff. Karma, my character, she uh, gets into some trouble, and uh, we filmed some really fun uh, webisodes. Tuesday was actually a webisode day, and my character did a, a webisode a la a period. I can't tell you which one, oh, but okay. a throwback, and it was super, super fun. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Looking forward to it. Thanks yeah. so much. Thank you so much. Thanks awesome. for coming by. Thanks for having me.